another video. In today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here. I feel like it's been a minute since I've sat down and played with some color. You guys know I love me some colorful eyeshadow and I'm just over winter at this point. I'm ready for it to be hot. I'm ready for the summer. Like I'm just over this weather. So I decided, you know what, let's bring the summer to this makeup look and to this video today. So I really hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, this look is definitely super different than anything I usually do. I have been really pushing myself ever since I posted that like double cut crease look with the Lorac the Circus Tent Palette. If you guys have not seen that video, I will go ahead and put it up above and I will link it down below if you guys are interested. And that specific look, so many of you guys were like, oh my gosh, like this is something that you've never done before. Like we love it. It's probably my favorite look you've ever done. And I'm not gonna lie, it put a lot of pressure, okay? I was like, oh my gosh, like how am I gonna do another makeup look? Like how am I gonna exceed that? So I'm not even gonna lie, I've been in my head about my makeup looks. I'm just like, girl, you need to get these hands going. We need to start creating different kind of looks. So this right here is definitely super different than anything I've done before. And I think it is really pretty and it's colorful. So I mean, it's a two for one. So for today's look, I'm gonna be using my Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. You guys have seen this palette on my channel many many times I love this palette so much and this is what the palette looks like which I'm sure you guys have seen what this palette looks like already because it's so popular um, but if you guys have this palette in your collection this will be the only palette you will need to recreate this look if you guys are interested I also quickly wanted to mention that I do listen to your feedback and I know that you guys prefer the products to be in the description box and the link to each product so I'm gonna do my best to put the links for every product that I use in today's video so be sure that you guys check there if you're interested in anything that you've seen today and yeah that is basically it so before we go ahead and jump into today's video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already I do post a new video every Monday Wednesday and Friday so three new videos a week so if you guys are interested make sure that you subscribe and of course as always if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look today then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start today's look, of course, by prepping my eye. We want to make sure everything is nice and prepped for shadow. I'm going to be using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number 2. And I usually like to pull this base all the way out towards my temple anyway. But for today's look, it's especially important because anywhere you plan to put eyeshadow, you want to make sure that the base is there underneath so everything adheres nicely. So I did pack it all over my lid with a buffing brush just to make sure I had a nice even layer. And then for eyeshadow, like I showed you guys in the intro, we're going to be using the B perfect carnival 3 palette love this palette to death it is amazing probably in my top five just definitely in my top five as far as how many palettes i have in my collection and which ones i would choose i love it it's amazing so the first shade i'm using is a shade called key lime it's a beautiful light kind of like neon green i did hit pan on this color already because i use it so often so i'm taking this color on a tiny fluffy brush and i'm going to work it into the inner part of my eye but because the shade is so light i want a little bit more of a yellow hue so i took this yellow eyeshadow from the Lorac Circus Temp Palette. Any yellow will do um, and I just pack this right over the key lime shade. So moving on to the next shadow, I'm going to be using the shade Tropics and this green is going to go right after that key lime shade and you just want to make sure if you're creating a look like this that you're leaving enough space so that way you're going to be able to see every eyeshadow color that you're using and each of them have their own amount of space and a decent amount of space so you have that nice gradient. So the next shade I'm using here is this blue eyeshadow and it's called a lagoon from the same palette and as you guys can see I'm packing on the color but I'm blending them out at the same time typically I usually only just pack on the color and then worry about blending later but for this specific eye look you want to make sure you're packing and blending at the same time so I also went into the shade of the deep and packed that in the crease as well right underneath a lagoon just to give it some definition and then the last shade we're going to be using in the crease is the color twilight so because this is the last shade this is the color that we're going to be winking 
pointing out towards the temple. So you want to start to create that shape and you definitely want to take your time with this if you're creating this look because you have to blend the purplish pink color with the blue so it does take some time. So right now this is kind of like a rough draft. It's blended but not blended to perfection but at this point because you have so much color going on it was really hard for me to see where the look was going so I decided let me just cut the crease really quickly. So I just took a little bit of the Garnier Micellar Water which is what I use all the time anytime I cut my crease and I'm going to use that to start to create that really nice cut crease so it looks really nice and clean so I personally can get an idea of exactly what I'm doing and the shape that I'm going for. So now what I'm doing here is just taking my blank canvas base and I'm basically just going to follow that same exact line that we just created and completely just cut that crease. And this is really different for me because I'm not used to doing a full cut crease, but it was a lot of fun and very precise, I will say that. So once I went ahead and cut the crease, I'm going to actually put this base all over my lid. And then, of course, I'm going to buff it out with a small buffing brush just to make sure there's a nice, even layer of blank canvas because, like I've mentioned before, it's a pretty thick base. So this method here is a method that I recently started doing. So this here is going to give you the illusion of having a white liner in between these two cut creases. But really it's just that we didn't take the eyeshadow high up if that makes sense. So for me personally I'm not the greatest at graphic liner. I definitely need to work on it. So I usually am like do I do it and mess up the look or do I just figure out something else. So I ended up figuring out this method and it's so easy. You're literally just creating the shape with eyeshadow and the brush that I'm using here is just a paintbrush from Michaels so I'm doing the same thing I did at the top on the bottom so you guys know I work all over the place I look at my footage and I'm like girl what were you doing you were just in the inner corner and now you're on the outer corner so for the outer corner itself I decided to create basically that wing shape that we're gonna have going on and then I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and just create that blend so I know right here it looks insane but you end up cleaning it up anyway and when you clean it up it is the perfect blend so these are the moments where you really need to trust the process so I did that really quickly just wanted to make sure it had that really nice gradient from dark to light as it goes up towards the temple and of course I did clean it up so everything looked nice and crisp and then I moved back to creating that kind of like double cut crease and adding that blue because we cannot forget the blue okay so now what I'm going to do is start to clean up that outer edge of this cut crease and I started off with a concealer and then now I'm using blank canvas so the only thing with blank canvas is you want to make sure you blend it out really well because once you start to do your face makeup you do not want this to interrupt your concealer so I would say that is my biggest tip for doing this method so now I'm going to jump in to my Riviera palette because I need that white eyeshadow you guys know it's my fave and I'm going to take this on a very tiny thin angled brush and I'm actually going to set blank canvas um, where you can actually see it so that negative space and like I said this gives you the illusion of a graphic liner but we really didn't do any liner whatsoever so after that that's basically it for the eyes I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara of course this is my KKW Beauty Mascara, and the lashes that I'm actually wearing today are affordable. I'm wearing the Kiss Lashes. This is the Kiss INV Lashes. They're so beautiful. These right here are in the style number 13. Super fluffy and super dramatic and perfect for this look. So I went ahead and sized them to my eye, and while they're drying or getting tacky, I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin layer of some eyeliner. This is the Morphe Felt Tip Liner in the shade Ink perfect felt tip liner it is amazing and the price is a bomb so I did that really quickly by the time I did that the lashes were ready to be put on so I went ahead and popped on my lashes and that's basically it for the top of the lid so now we can go ahead and move on to the face makeup so for my face makeup today, I started off with the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Primer and then I'm going to be using my foundation combo that I've been loving which is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. Both of these mixed together are so beautiful. They're both full coverage stick foundations but they still look like skin which is something that I love. So I went ahead and applied that to my skin with the Beauty Blender of course and then for cream bronzing today, I decided to switch it up. I've been using a lot of the same things so I decided decided to go back to a product that I love. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Cream Bronzer. This one is in the shade Fair. As you guys can see, she's well loved and it's such a beautiful cream bronzer. I love it and it just melts into the skin. It's really beautiful. 
And then for concealer, I'm going to be using my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. You guys see me use this all the time. This one is in the shade Cream Cafe. Like I said, if you guys are interested in any of the products that you've seen in today's video, all of them will be linked down below in the description box so you guys can find everything with ease. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with the same Beauty Blender. You guys, I've been obsessed with Beauty Blenders lately and they are not cheap. I actually just ordered some from the brand Colored Rain. I heard they're amazing. So I'm waiting for those sponges to come and that we can use it in a video i know it's super random but i just wanted to put that in there so i went ahead and blended it out and then to set my concealer i didn't show the powder but do i really have to you guys know i'm going to be using my collab set the stage powder it's a beautiful soft focus powder so it's going to make your under eyes look really smooth and airbrush and then to set the rest of my face i'm using the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder mine is in the shade fair and i love it the finish on this powder is incredible but it better be honey because it's not cheap so moving on to bronzer i'm using my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade dark tan which is nothing new as well love this bronzer like love 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 this bronzer it is so good and of course i'm using my jaclyn hill brush to go ahead and apply that and then for blush i'm going to be using my tarte amazonian clay blush in the shade sensual you guys can get this blush at ulta i know i've been using it a ton but i love it so much and when i tell you that this blush matches with every single eye look it really does so it's like a no-brainer and i end up grabbing it for every single video um, but I promise in my next video I'll use something else so for highlighter I'm gonna be using the Dior this is I believe the Dior skin glow palette or face glow palette in the shade pure gold I literally just mix all four shades together and apply it to my cheeks and that is basically it for the face makeup super simple and easy so now let's go ahead and finish up this eye look so for my waterline, I'm going to be using this LA Girl Neon Shockwave Liner. These are super affordable and super creamy. The pigment is insane. I'll leave the shade name down below if you guys are interested. And then jumping back into the palette, I'm going to first go into the shade The Deep, of course. And I'm going to run that super close to my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to take the shade Tropics and I'm actually going to put the green more towards the inner part of the eye. And then I wanted to make sure that the lower lash line connected with the top part of the eye. So I took a small detail brush and a little bit more of that deeper blue just to make sure everything connected really well. And it just looked really nice and cohesive. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that white eyeshadow from the Riviera palette and pop that baby right into the inner corner. So we have a really nice a bright inner corner and then I just added some mascara to my lower lashes and that was basically it. So moving on to the lips, I'm using my KKW Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Nude Number 2. And I'm actually going to be using my Lorely Liquid Lipstick, but I'm going to use this one first. This is the Vague Cosmetics. I believe their liquid lipstick in the shade Pink Pearl. It will be down below so you guys can check there. But I wanted more of a pinky nude for today's look. I felt like that would have been better than more of my typical like beige nude. And it was, I was obsessed. So I topped it off with Nakey Nakey and this is what the lip combo looks like. I loved it. So that's basically it for the makeup. We're going to go ahead and set everything in place. I'm going to be using my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist, of course. I promise in my next video I won't be using the setting spray as well, but it just gives me the perfect glass-like dewy finish to my skin and I love it. So that's basically it for today's makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.